Hi, today I'm going to talk about gravel. Gravel that's used to build a swim teich. For those who have never heard of a swim teich, remember what it is. A swim teich is a natural swimming pool without chemical or technical support and without any plants. So today, for those of you who plan a project like a swim teich, I will tell you about the size, the amount and what to do when the gravel you have ordered is really dirty. Your channel for swim teichs. Nature in your garden and water that's alive. Enjoy watching. When building a swim teich, you need gravel for the regeneration zone also known as aquaculture and the ring drainage. For both of those zones you need gravel. So let's start with the size of the gravel. I will give you all the numbers in millimeters and for those of you who live in areas uh, that work with inch then please um, you have to transform um, the millimeters in um, inches afterwards. Um, we have given you the calculation key in the description to this video. So the size. The perfect size for a swim for a swim teich construction is 1632. That's the common size for building in Europe. And what does that mean 1632? It means that the pieces of gravel are between 16 and 32 millimeters in size. So to give you an example that's gravel of the size 1632. Um, why is this the perfect size? This size of gravel is um, small enough that it's easy to work with and it's big enough that it doesn't trickle down all the time. So that's the reason why you should use exactly this size. We would also recommend to use gravel rather than rocks because there are two reasons again. Um, first, it's um, the rocks are not nice to work with and the rocks are also not easy to walk on. And that's the reason why you should use gravel. Sometimes we are also asked about the material, what kind of gravel should it be? So that's um, most of the time you don't have much choice. You take the gravel that's common in your area. We have used um, the size 1632 um, for our ring drainage and for our um, regeneration zone. For the baby zone, um, we used a smaller size, means um, 816. Um, and maybe, maybe um, I'm gonna show you. Let's walk to the baby zone. So now you see me here in our baby zone. Others call it, I've heard the name, cocktail zone or sitting zone or dog zone. For us it's the baby zone. Um, and here we have used smaller gravel, a lot of pebbles in it. And why have we used this? Because it's much nicer to sit on gravel of this size. Sometimes I'm asked about uh, the type of gravel, the type of stone um, you should use for a swim teich. Normally you don't have much choice. You have to take the gravel that's around in your area. I think it doesn't matter at all 
what kind of material it is, what kind of gravel it is, as long as it is not nutrition rich. It should be poor of nutrition. It means if you know that in your area there is a lot of phosphate in the stones, then I would be careful. Otherwise it doesn't matter. Why is that so? Because this system of a swim teich, this system counts on nutrition poor water. So that leads me to the next thing. What can you do if you don't get any really clean gravel in your area? We recommend, the Teich doctor recommends double washed water, uh, gravel. If you now you call your gravel pit, they will probably tell you, yeah, we don't have double washed gravel. So what to do and why is it important? As long as it's only dust that's coming with the gravel, it doesn't matter that much. But if you have dirt, soil, um, clay in your gravel, then you have high risk of bringing a lot of nutrition into your water and that's why you should uh, take care of that. So what possibilities do you have to get your gravel, gravel clean if it comes dirty? There are two possibilities to bring in the gravel into your um, swim teich. Um, first is with wheelbarrows, probably a couple of wheelbarrows and a lot of helping hands that uh, just walk and drive the gravel from uh, one place into the swim teich. That's one thing. Second way to bring in the gravel is with a conveyor belt. Um, truck coming, conveyor belt just brings in the gravel. The risk when using a conveyor belt is that you get a lot of small pieces of cement with your gravel. Um, but again, we have a tip for a solution for that. You know that the moment you want to install the aquaculture, the deep zone of your swim tank has to be already filled up. That's because the liner should be straightened before you install the regeneration zone. Now you get gravel, it's dirty. What to do? First, you have the possibility to wash it before you uh, bring it in with, with uh, wheelbarrows. That's a lot of work. We know families who have done that, but, um, well, <laughs> those of you who don't have a lot of helping hands available might choose the other way, bring it in dirty or even with a um, conveyor belt. So you have it there and it looks really dusty and dirty. Um, now you can do the following. The deep zone is already filled up. Now you want to fill up the whole uh, water body. Um, and usually you do that by uh, laying the hose into the deep water and the water level rises and rises and rises. Now, if you have really dirty gravel, we recommend that you don't just uh, put the hose into the water to fill the swim tank up, but you go there where the regeneration, where the regeneration zone is and you rinse your gravel and fill your swim tank by rinsing and washing your gravel that you just laid in your uh, regeneration zone. Of course, <laughs> that uh, material that comes out of the regeneration zone when you do so, um, it's mostly dust, it's mostly very small pieces of stone, it's stony dust more or less, or pieces of cement. Those just sink to the bottom. And now you have, again, two possibilities. You can um, just rent, borrow um, a pool roboter and let the pool roboter do the work and clean the bottom. That's very easy if you fill the swim teich for the first time because it's only dust, there's no biofilm, nothing um, that could hinder the roboter. If you don't have any roboter available, 
you can also of course after filling it all up having rinsed your gravel you just uh, let it sink to the ground and you suck it out like in the yearly uh, cleaning if you have really dirty gravel and if you have really a lot of water available then you can of course also just pump the whole water out again um, and start filling it up um, again but most of you won't have water for waste available yeah last but not least the amount of gravel that you need I will tell you about our swim teich which has an average size I would say um, we used about 15 tons of gravel for the ring drainage and the aquaculture and our um, our edge with the stepping stone and we used one ton of smaller gravel as I told you before for the baby zone that was one ton um, one ton of gravel is really like nothing and um, I would recommend if you are not sure order one ton too much rather than one ton too little that's about it one last thing maybe the bigger stones that we have um, on that we have on top of our regeneration zone that's not necessary for the func functionality of the swim teich it's just uh, a matter of taste probably it's easier maybe to clean um, the regeneration zone if you don't have, have these big stones but it's easier to step on big stones than on the gravel so I hope that there was something new for you to learn and um, if you're planning to build good luck have a nice day.